Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, word to my brethren in New Orleans, Louisiana. Shout out to New Orleans. Now, uh, Dillian White, as you guys know, he'll be fighting uh, on the Terrence Crawford, Julius Ndongo undercard, and I believe that's August 15th. Uh, and that's a very stacked card. You got guys like Brian Jennings, uh, Nicholas Walters, Shakur Stevenson, ESPN on or top rank on ESPN. It'll be the second installment of that. I think it's going to be a, a tremendous card, a tremendous night of boxing. But like I always say, some people like me, some people don't. And that's why I say in the, in the end of my um, when I end these videos, you can either love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding, being it. I call a spade a spade, whether I like the fighter or I don't. And with that being said. Uh, Dillian White, someone that I think is a is, is is a good heavyweight fighter, solid contender, exciting fighter to watch. He'll be on that card, and and man, this right here, I mean, either they really, either they really couldn't find anybody else to fight, or this is the cherry pick of all cherry picks. This might be the cherry pick of the year, and this is no disrespect to Dillian White, but I'm just calling a spade a spade. This is a cherry pick. If you guys don't know, um, it's it's. Scheduled right now, as I'm talking to you guys, um, as, I'm, as I'm looking at box rec, that Dillian White, a guy who's in his 20s, I believe, and you know he's someone that is supposed to, uh, you know, he's 20, he's 29 years old, so he's he's in the prime of his life, the prime of his career, from an athletic standpoint, and it says that he's slated to fight Michael Grant. Yes, that Michael Grant. And Michael Grant from the 90s, that was a contender, the guy that fought um, Lennox Lewis, Jim McClain, got stopped by both of them. One of the same, same Michael Grant who fought Galata, Lou Savaris, and you know, all these heavyweight guys in the 90s. He is fighting Dillian White. And I gotta, I mean, that's crazy to think because Michael Grant, you know, fought in the 90s. He used to be fighting Shannon Briggs right now. So with that being said, um, you look at what he's if you look at his last three fights, you know, he's had three fights. In the last four years, um, he got he took, he got stopped by Carlos Takam in 2013. He got stopped by Manuel Char in 2014, and then he had a fight this year against uh, some guy named Kristoff Zim Zimanach or something like that. And he got stopped in that fight. So he's coming off of three straight stoppage losses. He's a he's 44 years old. Um, you know clearly. Um, Something's wrong with Michael Grant, you know, because this is a guy. I, I always joke around. I always say that Deontay Wilder is the modern day Michael Grant because Michael Grant, much like Wilder, was a six seven, big, tall heavyweight. Hadn't really fought nobody. Uh, was a front fronter, and then he ran. He ran right into Lennox Lewis, and Lennox Lewis stopped him. And I believe one or two rounds. Let me say, I got it in front of me. Was it one or two rounds? It was two rounds. So yeah, you know, he even in his prime, and there's no disrespect to him. You know, he had a lot of talent. Um, but he never really put it all together and he never beat any of the top guys when they were the top guys, to be honest with you. Um, Michael Grant was Deontay Wilder before Deontay Wilder. So I just find it hilarious to me that Deontay Wilder, he ducked Dillian White and now Dillian White is fighting the guy that was Deontay Wilder back in the nineties. So it's just funny to me, but, um, hopefully you know, Eddie Hearn or top rank, whoever's putting this together, they can find a better opponent for Dillian White because, no, let's, let's be honest here, Michael, Michael Grant probably needs the money. Uh, Michael Grant, you know, he's coming off of three straight stoppage losses. Um, yeah, he's six seven. Yeah, he has 86-inch reach. That's cool. But he's 44 years old, and he's gotten – his brains beat him three straight times. So I would like to see Dillian White fight someone better. And for the sake of that man and his health – Protect him from himself. I, let's let's not have Dillian White fighting an old Michael Grant. That's the that's the last name I, I expected to see when I went on Box Rec to see who this guy was fighting. So yeah, man. I mean, there's really no other way to put this. Deontay Wilder ducks Dillian White. Dillian White fights the guy that was Deontay Wilder in the '90s. You can't make this stuff up. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, they can get a new opponent, but I highly doubt they will. Um, and a Dillian White, if you somehow lose to Michael Grant. You need to stop, like like you need to stop, man. You don't you don't want to estimate, underestimate no opponent. You respect everybody that gets in the ring, but Michael Grant's been past it, man, for for quite some time, and he's got stopped earlier this year, and he's got stopped in those last two fights before this year. So, um, you know, it is what it is. You got '90s 
cannon fodder opponents now be fighting guys like Dillian White now. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about Dillian White fighting Michael Grant, of all people. Uh, take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding. So until next time, take care, guys.